So today we're going to be working on carving out this distinction. This is one of the most important distinctions you can make in all of personal development and in all of spiritual work, is this distinction between, on the one hand, the actual, what is actual, and then on the other hand, concepts, beliefs, and imagination. And people in general are very, very poor at distinguishing between these two. And this is why they get themselves into so much epistemic trouble and they struggle so much to understand reality is because they've completely blurred this distinction such that they're living in an augmented reality. This uh, sort of conceptual matrix, which is interpreting everything that they're seeing, all their interactions with actuality are getting corrupted by all of their concepts that they got from their culture and from their early upbringing, and now they can't tell the two apart. So let's work to correct this. A really common mistake that people make when they think about spirituality is they think that, oh, spirituality, that's like a bunch of beliefs. When in fact, spirituality is the exact opposite of that. Spirituality is actuality, not belief. So let's get you in touch with that right now. Actuality. What do we mean when we say the word actual? So we could sit here and think about it. I can give you a bunch of interesting theories and ideas about what it all means and how it all works. And none of that will actually get you closer to actuality. So... This is a very uh, hands-on episode, uh, no pun intended, uh, where you're going to have to uh, participate with me here to actually get this. Not just listen to me, but actually do the exercises. We're gonna do a lot of exercises here. So, let's do this right now. Take out your hand and look at it. Hold it in front of your face, about a foot away from you, and just look at your hand. Put your awareness completely on your hand without a bunch of distracting thoughts and just look at it. Notice the hand's existence, the fact that it exists in your direct experience. And just sit with that. Don't particularly try to do anything or get anywhere, or have any kind of objective, just be with your hand and recognize and be conscious of its existence. Make sure you're actually doing this as I'm talking. Pause this recording if you need to, to make sure that you get what I'm saying. And I want you to hit this sort of moment where you become hyper-conscious of the fact that, oh yes, this hand exists. Here it is. And just be hyper-conscious of its existence. That right there is actuality. Your hand is actual. Here it is. Don't fall into the trap of thinking, oh, well, so what? Who cares, Leo? This is so obvious. No, 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 no. It's not obvious at all. Not obvious at all. Sit here and just be conscious of this hand. Be conscious of its actuality. This is what's real. This is as close to reality as you can get. There is no closer. No amount of science or religion or reading books or hearing lectures or watching videos will ever get you closer to reality than looking at your hand right now. That's as close as you can get. If you can't get this, you're lost. There's no hope for you. You can't do consciousness work. You can't do spirituality. You can't do personal development if you can't get this. That's how important this is. Now, take your hand, put it behind your back so you can't see it anymore. And now, Imagine and think of your hand. That right there is concept and imagination. 
We're going to be using the word concept and imagination throughout this episode interchangeably. So do you get that? Don't think about this. I want you to actually experience it, to feel it. Now take your hand out again, look at it, and notice that this is actual. This is actuality right here. And then when I put it away and I think about it, that is concept and imagination. Are you getting this? Make sure you do this a couple of times to make the distinction very clear. It's not enough that you understand the distinction conceptually. That's easy. Any fool can do that. You have to actually experience it and become very quick at distinguishing between these two as it's happening throughout your entire life all the time. When you're waking up in the morning, when you're brushing your teeth, when you're tired, when you're hungry, when you're horny, when you're depressed, when you're angry, when you're frustrated, all of these things are happening to you. You need to be able to recognize between what is actual and what is imaginary. Otherwise, you're going to blur these two and get yourself into a lot of trouble. And it's going to be utterly impossible for you to do any kind of work towards enlightenment or basically any spirituality. Because spirituality is not about a bunch of woo-woo beliefs about spirits and aliens and ghosts and things like that. Spirituality is this right here. This exercise that we're doing right now, looking at your hand, look at your hand right now. Look at that hand. That is as close to spirituality as you will ever get. Are you getting this? I'm not joking. You might say, oh, Leo, but uh, how can my hand, what, what is spiritual about my hand? Are you, we just playing word games here? Why are you calling my hand spiritual? There's nothing spiritual about this. This is just some ordinary perception that I have. Ah, you see, you're not being careful. You're not being careful because look what your mind is doing. Your mind is saying, this is a hand, it's a human hand, it's biological, it's made of chemicals and molecules, and it's physical, and it's it's my hand, and the label hand is getting a, a t applied to it, uh, and you're calling it my experience, my perceptions. See, this is a lot of conceptual baggage that you're adding on top of what's here. What is actually occurring right here is not so obvious. And the problem is that your mind is so used to projecting its interpretations onto everything that you're seeing all the time that again, you're failing to distinguish between actuality and then what your mind is coming up with and thinking is there. What you think is there isn't actually there. So this hand that you think is there, this physical hand, it seems like that's what's actual, but that's not what act is what is what is actual. So what's happening is that your mind is giving context to every perception that you're having. Even to say that a thing is a perception or an experience is already to go too far. It's already to give way too much conceptual context to this thing that's happening right here. Already way too far. So really what spirituality is about, is about decontextualizing everything that you experience or see or feel such that you get it as close to as raw as possible without any interpretations. And then you see what happens. And you might be surprised at what happens. If you're just starting with this exercise, it might seem to you like, well, Leo, if I just sit here and I look at my hand, I mean, isn't, just, oh, isn't this just a waste of time? I mean, what's going to happen? Seems like nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to sit here and look at it. It's kind of obvious. And okay, so what? Next, what do we do next? Tell me something flashy and, and mind-blowing. No, 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 no. This right here is what's mind-blowing. But you got to really sit here and look at it. Look at it for a long time. I spend about five hours a week, at least, these days, just sitting and looking at my hand. This is my favorite spiritual exercise. This is my favorite 
uh, meditation technique. I've sort of outgrown various other kinds of techniques. Like for me now, it just is so simple that I just, I sit on my couch, I just look at my hand like this, literally like this for an hour. And then I get up and do other stuff. And I do that maybe five times a week. And that's five hours right there of just looking at my hand. That's it. That's the entire spiritual practice. That's as, as pure of a spiritual practice as you're ever going to get. Forget about yoga, forget about enlightenment, forget about self-inquiry and all this complicated stuff. You're getting lost in way too much conceptual stuff, right? You got to make it real, this right here. Everything you're looking for is right here in your hand. When it comes to enlightenment, non-duality, spirituality, all the uh, wacky stuff I talk about, it's all right here in your hand, right now. Actual, this is actual. The problem is that way too many of you are getting lost in all sorts of ideas about non-duality.